rings white gold. Because oh. he's not likely to keep this well, up the whole well, year. The and because well, he's not he does keep it up, keep he's opting out. Yeah. So, you got another one? Well, I mean, uh, here's here's one thing I'll say about that, too. It's uh, the Lions are going to be resigning a few of their guys. Like, they're not going to let Sewell leave. They're not going to let Amon Ross St. Brown leave. So. Right. And this is another unnamed texter. You trade Erod now, you get a disappointing return. No one is lining up to take him now. And guess what? Other teams know the stat you read. Be patient. You got to let this thing play out. Well, the Cardinals apparently uh, aren't listening to a ticket texture because the coordinator, Jim Bond, the Athletic, they're into it right now. And uh, he is linked to the Cardinals in a potential blockbuster trade. And if that happens, it could happen now. Not to trade down, right? And I have faith in Scott Harris based on his track record he's done elsewhere. And uh, we'll see what he can pull off with this pitcher. All right. So, a lot of talk about the Lions. Yeah, I was disappointed they didn't get Jalen Carter. They are disappointed they didn't address the D-line in the draft, which was their biggest problem. They did address the secondary. That's better uh, in the free agency. No question about it. Uh, linebacker, we'll see. Uh, i got a rookie coming in in top draft. We'll see how good he is. But... Will he be able to stop the run on his own? I don't know. They were a doorman in run defense again last year. And, uh, yeah, I know they got a little better towards the end of the year, but uh, I saw that Carolina game. I hope you did, too. Uh, two positions uh, were not getting much talk. Well, they're getting talk, and not as much as they, they could they deserve. Kicker was a problem last year. Kicker has been a problem. And they'll have to address that in free agency because they weren't getting it done with field goals last year. So that's one thing. And that's something, you know, you don't want to waste a high draft pick on unless you're San Francisco, of course, over Jake Booty in the third round. It could be a really good kicker. But back up quarterback, let's look at this. Minnesota, excuse me, Miami and San Francisco. Both lost their first and second string quarterbacks for quite a time last year. Oh, they played a lot of the year with third string quarterbacks. Happened? Both teams made the playoffs. Must also, be an accident. Our producer today, how do you think the Lions it would do? It must be an accident. Without Jared Goff? Yeah. How many games do you think they would win? Do you think they would sniff the playoffs if he got injured? I mean, if, it depends on how many games he misses. Oh, All right, well, let's so. assume he misses substantial time. Yeah, then they're, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. They'd be in more trouble than most teams would be, I would submit, with Nate Sudfold, their current second-string quarterback. Again, reportedly, they made offers of Teddy Bridgewater. Either he wasn't interested or he's waiting for a better offer, maybe to get a, a chance at a starting job, which he won't get here in Detroit. But uh, that's a problem because Nate Sudfold is not going to win games for you. And... Jared Goff has been extremely fortunate, extremely fortunate because of the offensive line keeping him upright. But how likely is it to happen for a third year in a row? You're playing with pixie dust here. The likelihood is, you know, most NFL quarterbacks get hurt at some time during the season. And even with the Lions, really, really good offensive line, we're really playing Russian roulette here, and they have to address that. I don't know. I think most starting quarterbacks play most of the games. Uh, like Brady missed one full season and then never missed any time after that. Aaron Rodgers is always playing. Mahomes is always playing. Although Mahomes did get hurt in the playoffs, but Henny just had to come in for a series or two. You think most starting quarterbacks stay healthy for three consecutive seasons? Well, it wouldn't be three because Goff missed a few two years ago okay. with the Lions. His first year, he missed a few. They had to have Tom Boyle play. Yeah, and they he paid, lost a game and, against Atlanta. And they paid for that, too. And well, yeah. It's amazing 